Hello and welcome to the UCSF Chimera Structure Analysis Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn some of the commonly used options in the Tools menu, such as the general controls of the software, viewing controls, depictions of the molecules, and specific structure analysis options. These tools will help you explore and understand interactions stabilizing a residue or a ligand in the structure. It will also help you measure distances between atoms. The example file in this tutorial is a myoglobin structure with the PDB identifier 1MBO. Commonly used tools for structure analysis are available under the Tools menu. Under General Controls, you can activate a command line and type in commands to perform various manipulations or measurements or analysis. If that is not your cup of tea, you can hide it. Under Viewing Controls, you can select the view that is visible in the graphics window. For example, the side view allows you to slab through the structure and see only a thin slice of the molecule. You can also look at the lighting and change it. You can play with it to make it brighter or darker or reset it. The depiction allows you to color the molecule in specific ways. For example, the secondary structure coloring will allow you to color the alpha helices and beta sheets with specific colors. Since the myoglobin structure is almost entirely alpha helical, this whole structure is now colored blue, which was the color chosen for alpha helices. We can also color the molecule according to the rainbow color scheme. There are other options available for nucleic acid structures that you can uh, explore at leisure. To analyze the residues in the vicinity of this heme group, let's first select the heme group and then identify all the residues within five angstroms of the heme. So we go to select zone and select all residues that are within five angstroms. For any atom which is within five angstroms of the heme group, we would like to see the entire residue. So we see, click OK. Notice many more residues are now highlighted in green. So we are going to go and color these residues by element. So all the stick representation here of the residues that are within five angstroms of heme are colored with the CPK coloring. To measure the distance between the iron in the heme group and the coordinating histidine, you need to select the two atoms between which the distance is to be measured. Do this by pressing shift control and a left mouse click on these two atoms. Once the atoms are selected, open the distance measurement panel and say create. The distance between the atoms is listed both in the new window and also in the graphics window. To find all hydrogen bonds in the structure, use the default options of the find H bonds. Notice it found all the hydrogen bonds that are formed within the helices and also that are within side chains or water molecules in the structure. To identify specific hydrogen bonds that are of interest, select the atoms that you think are involved in that hydrogen bond. For example, this serine hydroxyl, so let's focus on all the hydrogen bonds that are around this atom. So for that, 
we go to the structure analysis, find hydrogen bond, and check on the option that says only show hydrogen bonds where at least one end is selected. Click on apply. Notice only a few hydrogen bonds are retained that involve this particular atom. For additional help and instructions, review the UCSF Chimera documentation and tutorials.